Let's factor the equation x squared plus 6x minus 40 equals 0. And we're going to use these steps, these guidelines here, to help us do that. The first thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation, and this is the skeleton equation right here. After we've done that, we want to add the signs into our skeleton equation. So I see that I have a positive and a negative. If the last term is negative, we're going to put a positive here and then a negative here in our skeleton equation. So that's going to help us along. Now that we have these signs here, we can find the factors for that last term. And those factors, they should add up to the middle term. So we're looking at 40 here, negative 40. Factors of negative 40 that would add up to 6. If you write the factors for 40, they look like this. And as I look at the factors here, I can see that 4 and 10, the difference between these two factors here, is 6. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a 10 here and a 4 right here. Because 10 and negative 4, that'll give me the 6. So we factored the equation x squared plus 6x minus 40. But we really should check our work here with the FOIL method. So the first term, x times x, is x squared outside x times negative 4. That's negative 4x inside 10 times x. That's 10x. And the last term, 10 times negative 4 is negative 40. All that equals 0. Let's combine these two right here, and we get and this is the same thing we started with, so this has been done correctly. Let's take a moment and find the values for x that will make this 0 here. 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. We say x plus 10 equals 0, so x will equal a negative 10, and then x minus 4, that equals 0, so x equals a positive 4. If you put negative 10 in for x here, do the math, all of this will equal 0. Likewise, if you put 4 in for x and do the math, all of this equals 0. So these are the correct roots here for our equation. If you use the quadratic equation, you get these same numbers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 6x minus 40. Thanks for watching.